Okay, let's do the not sleepy version. All right, so I am Ben Hale. I am the artist game dev. If you're curious what an artist game dev is, I don't blame you. It's just an artist who decided they want to make video games. And luckily there's tools now to kind of help us. So you don't have to worry about coding or anything like that. The stuff we don't want to do, you don't want to do. If you've been to my channel before, thank you for coming back. I know I've been incredibly quiet for well, years now. So I thought I'd do a quick synopsis of the last nine years. Uh, so you can kind of see what I'm trying to achieve, where I've been, and where I'm at now. Uh, basically it starts off. Nine years ago, I was sick, or I think I hurt my foot or something. I'm sitting around, and I have my paper and a light board, and I decide to make just a quick run cycle of a superhero character, kind of stocky, almost Mr. Incredible-ish. That was the germ of the original idea. I wanted to do kind of chop lifter with superheroes, grab the civilian, stop the bad guys, rescue people, get them to help or get help to them. And that was my original idea. My first step was looking for a tool or something that didn't make me code, but could help me make games. Luckily, I looked around, I bumped into Construct 2, and that was a really nice kind of event system where it's what's this block do when it touches this block, and I was able to wrap my head around it. I started working in Construct 2. I had the art that was putting it in there, basically just swapping between like, here's a platform Mario behavior, but it jumps over to a Zelda top-down view, for now it would be for the flying. Put a little ice slipperiness, so it looks like I'm slowing to a stop. A lot of nice tricks in there. I was really happy with how it turned out. But as being an artist over time, you start getting sick of your original design, and there's more things you want to do with it. Not so much feature creep, but just thinking this could be a bigger thing. So I started to work on a redesign, decided I'm going to treat this like an indie comic. I'm going to make it vaguely look like myself and build it out modularly. I was spending way too much time drawing these frames over and over again. I need a lot of variety because you're going to be picking up big things, little things, civilians, and I needed a run cycle or an idle or a flying angle for each one of those. So I decided on going with Toon Boom Harmony, which is a professional vector program, a lot like Flash, that you can draw in and you can kind of puppet characters after you build out their limbs and things like that. The original plan was I'm making these frames, I export them, bring them into Photoshop and crunch them down so they have kind of a pixely look, keep them kind of blocky because I was still sort of obsessed with, you know, early 90s arcade games. That was working well, but I knew I wanted a variety of a lot of different civilians. And I didn't want to draw a bunch of different ones. So I was going to build them modularly and animate them in game. I found a program called Spryder Pro that let me work with cutout animation. So I'd build the enemies up and the civilians and animate them in engine. So I had less art assets, a smaller footprint, but I could have a lot of variety. So I started working in Construct 2 and I'm building everybody up and I'm really happy with the results I'm getting. I was able to achieve a flying system that as you rotated or, or flew into a different angle, it would switch between different flying loops instead of just kind of like a static photo and it just turns on its axis, which it looks like trash and I didn't want it to look like trash. So I was pretty proud of that. But life got in the way, I get busy, I can't work on the game. But eventually things do slow down and I want to jump back into it. At that time, Construct 3 was coming out. And I transferred my program over or attempted to to bring it into Construct 3 and it hated it. So nothing would work on it. I don't know if it was a plugin that I was using. Construct 3 was still pretty early. At that time, it was also starting to dawn on me that my process of creating it in Toon Boom and exporting it to frames was just too many frames if I had civilians, heavy objects, light objects, and I needed all this variation. It was too much. It was just too much art. So I might as well do what I was doing with the civilians and the NPCs and the bad guys and just build my main player in cutout animation and animate it in game. That way I can just do slight variations and it's going to work for what I want to do. But if Construct 3 is not going to work with this and I have to redo the whole thing anyways, I might as well just level up. I might as well move past Construct 3 and get past that ceiling of not being able to go to consoles, being stuck on PC and mostly browsers, 
and get to something with a little bit more horsepower. I still don't want to code. Coding scares me. I don't want to do it. And you can't make me do it, so I'm not going to do it. So I come across Unreal Engine 4. It has a blueprint system. I don't have to know how to code, and I think I can work with that. Blueprint's kind of intimidating on their own, but if you get a couple of good tutorials, you'll be good to go. So I landed on a course at Udemy, and I burned through that, and I feel like I have a handle on it. But the other problem is Unreal Engine 4 is not a 2D engine like Construct 2 was. It's a 3D engine, and it just kind of forces 2D on top of it. So things that you're used to using, like animation blueprints with 3D characters to blend between the animations, isn't available for 2D, unless there's smarter people than me who exist and make plugins, specifically a plugin called Paper ZD, which lets you take advantage of animation blueprints, but it goes through Flipbooks, which is the sprites for Unreal Engine 4. They also built it out to work with a different modular system called Esoteric Spine 2D, which is like the Sprider Pro that I was using, but it has mesh deformations and, and can kind of bend bones a little bit better. So I think I might be able to get better results with that since I'm probably going to be working at a higher resolution. So where I'm at right now is working in Unreal Engine 4 and rebuilding everything from scratch. I'm going to do a redesign of the character, build them out in Esoteric Spine 2D, as well as all the NPCs and enemies so that we have variety and we don't have the, the footprint of art and all the extra frames that were just incredibly unnecessary. Unreal Engine also has a marketplace and I'll be able to take advantage of that to kind of fill out the world and get extra blueprints and, and a community also that there's just so many tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. It's easier to find information on how to do things than it was in Construct 2 where I was kind of going into the forums asking a question and, and keeping my fingers crossed on whether or not I get an answer. So basically this channel is going to be mainly a devlog following my journey and recreating my game and finally getting it finished after way too many years. As I work on different features for the game, I want to look at other games that have inspired me, uh, things that have achieved what I'm trying to pull off, slow those down, take a real hard look at them. Uh, examine the animation. If you stayed along to the end, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to get notifications when the next video is coming out, click the little bell so YouTube tells you. Again, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you stopping by and have a nice day.